One less option to buy food puts residents in the St. Paul area of Norfolk in a food desert. We'll save a lot off Brambleton Avenue and Church Street closed in June, but the community is coming together to make sure no one goes hungry. 10 on your side's Kara Dixon explains how the food is coming to you. It's been two months since the Save a Lot grocery store closed in the St. Paul's neighborhood, making it a food desert. Organizations have stepped up to help the community, and that's inspired the food bank to also step up its efforts to help feed the hungry. In this deserted parking lot, Norfolk residents came to find help in their food desert. Good morning! Volunteers tied up bags and loaded boxes of food and vehicles. Everybody who worked there is really filled with the mission and filled with the hope for transforming this community, and that's really inspiring. A community that's recently seen its lone grocery store close. Since the closure of the Save-A-Lot here in this neighborhood, there has been a real emphasis on the community coming together to make sure that there is an opportunity for the um, for the neighbors here to get fresh, nutritious items. That's why Sarah Throckmorton says that inspiration led the food bank to do even more for a community that's already feeling the effects of the pandemic. It's great. Like I said, it's tough times and, and every little bit helps. This mobile food pantry will be here the second and fourth Friday of every month doing what it can to lift a burden. People know that there's food on the table for their children. They can concentrate on staying healthy, on keeping their jobs, on get, finding a job, on all of the other things that need to come into place. And you know, there are just so many pieces that need to come together and having food for your family can be such a weight off your back. But it causes another need for the food bank. Volunteers to help feed an ever-growing number. With unprecedented, unprecedented need comes an unprecedented opportunity to help. And that's through donation or time to make sure that all of us can get by. Thank you. You are so welcome. For more information about the Food Bank's mobile food pantries or how you can volunteer to help, check out wavy.com. In Norvik, I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.